But if you sit, sit it on the floor on rubber feet, if you look at the little wiggles that you get on the, uh, the um, accelerometer, the energy, the total energy on the subwoofer and on the wall and floor is roughly equal. Um, if you, so, so basically those rubber feet are not providing any real decoupling or isolation. And these are like yeah. the standard furniture type rubber feet. If you put it on an isolation device that is commercially sold for this purpose, you see a difference. Um, for the sake of argument, we'll say 20% of the energy is not transferred to these other surfaces. Mm -hmm. If you put it on proper decoupling devices that are designed more for like acoustic decoupling, like HVAC decoupling, that kind of a thing. What we found was it was more like 50% of the energy is not transferred. If you move up to the kind of granddaddy of decoupling, which is springs, I guess, I suppose air springs would be the real granddaddy, but this is the next step below that mm -hmm. um, because it's got a much lower resonant frequency and more articulation. It was something like, I'm just going to say, I'm making these numbers up because we didn't quantify it quite this way, but about 80% of the sound energy does not transfer. 